Hi, my name is Umaima and we are today at Heartland Community College on location for Constitution Week. Um, as you can see, there's a table right here and there's actually seven uh, tables around campus. This one is specifically for the topic of immigration. So feel free to come here, write down your opinion, express yourself. Uh, this is uh, as you can see the library at Heartland Community College. There's uh, seven locations total here on campus and two additional, um, two additional locations in Pontiac and Lincoln. Let's get some student reactions on the topic. Have you heard of Constitution Week? Uh, yeah, it's been around the halls, but I haven't really heard about it too much though. I mean, what, what do, you, do you want to tell me what it's about? So, um, there's basically different tables scattered around campus, and this one, each one has a specific topic, and this one is about immigration, so you can come here and feel free to write down your opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's pretty much what it's about. Brittany, thank you for being interested in this. I have a quick question for you. Uh, true or false, voting is the most common form of political engagement. Um, I think true and false because it could be the biggest for some people, but if people choose not to vote, then it wouldn't also always be the most engaged for, the con for Constitution Week, I guess. Okay, do you think, can you think of any other ways people are politically involved on top of your head? Um, just like going out and speaking if you're about your political views is something that you could do. I mean, just because you don't vote doesn't mean that you don't have a say in all the politics that are going on. If, if you had to think of ways to engage young people politically and to get them, you know, active, what are some ways you can think of? Using social media has had a big impact on our community for sure. And um, I don't know, just like, Maybe starting a political campaign of our own as students. What do you think is the best way to encourage young people for um, political engagement and civil, civic engagement in general? Uh, just trying to bring up topics that would really interest them, I think is the best way to get them involved um, and try and make it relate to them somehow. So you had very interesting opinions about uh, healthcare and the question that we have right here at the table. Um, what can you tell us about that? Well, as far as my opinion goes, as far as like healthcare is concerned, it all goes to if you're less fortunate enough to where you are financially unavailable to pay for healthcare, there should be a free choice of healthcare for you until you get financially stable. But then if you have a well-paying job enough to get some sort of healthcare, you should at least attempt to pay for your own health care and sacrifice one or two things. Today is the first day of Constitution Week, so make sure to stop by. There's a lot of topics that are of interest to you, um, from search and seizure to gun controls, marijuana laws, and they're all scattered around campus, so make sure to stop by these tables and make your voice heard. <laughs>